Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you a really easy way to take off the keys from a desktop keyboard and then clean the inside of them and pop the keys back on. So on keyboards like this, it doesn't matter if they're wireless or wired, because they're normally attached to a desktop, they're really easy to do and normally it's just a one-piece key. So laptops can be more complicated because normally there are three-piece keys, so it's got the key a retaining key and then another little bit inside that. With this one's here, normally these are just one piece, so it's really straightforward to do. So let's say, for example, if we had a problem with a bunch of keys, you might have spilt something on it, or you might just have a problem with one key. Before going out and getting a new keyboard, just try doing this. So to start with, just try blowing it and tapping it, just to see if you can get the, the dirt or the dust out of it or dislodged, and just try hitting it numerous times, and that might just free it up. Give it a blow see if it makes a difference. If that still doesn't work, then we need to lever the key out. So this isn't hard to do. All you need to get is a blunt knife or a flathead screwdriver. And let's say now if we had a problem with uh, a bunch of keys here or just the J, then I'm just going to lever it out. Now, if you've got a bunch of keys and you need to lever out a lot of them, take a picture of it. So get your phone and take a picture of the keyboard because there's a chance that you might forget what key goes where. Either that or just write the keys down and it will save you a headache when you've put them back together having to take them out and trying to swap them again. So basically let's say if we did have a problem with this J here all I need to do is get the knife underneath it and then just lever it out and just pop it out. What I would say is when you're doing this, just make sure it's disconnected. So this is just a, a wireless keyboard, so just make sure it's in the off position. If you've got a wired keyboard, just unplug it, the USB cable from your PC when you're doing it. Now you can see how easy that came off, it just popped off. And then what you do is you get some, this is the UK, so this is called Surgical Spirit. If you're from America, it'll probably be called rubbing alcohol. Good stuff about this is it cleans it and then it just evaporates off after a couple of minutes. So you don't have to douse it in it, just put a little bit of Surgical Spirit in the lid and uh, get your Q-tip and just put it in a bit of Surgical Spirit. And then what you need to do is just clean inside. So clean all around in here and hopefully that will get rid of any stickiness or grime or dirt that's gone in there and also give it a little clean inside as well because inside here is where the actual key moves up and down so it could be sticky in there as well so give that a clean and then you get your key and again this shaft here just give it a clean around the edge there and then let it air dry for a minute or two just to get rid off to help the surgical spirit or the rubbing alcohol just evaporate off. Now just to show you it working on this USB keyboard, this is a wireless one but this one's a wired one, exactly the same principle as well. These keys are slightly more inset into the keyboard so but it's still very easy to get them out so let's say now if we had a fault on the G over here again we just get our screwdriver in, it doesn't matter we can do it from the top, the sides, the bottom, it doesn't make a difference. Let's go in the side and nice and gently just lever it out and again you can see it's just a one piece design so you can see that it's just held into place by two little retaining clips here and here so it's a very simple design and again with this one here you would just get your q-tip and give it a good clean all around all the places you can reach if you find that in this instance here it's a little bit tight to get the q-tip in those bits there you could just use a screwdriver and just clean around the edge there you can also get a bit of kitchen roll or tissue paper or something and just use your screwdriver in the tissue paper like so and then give it a good clean around the edge there and that should get off any dirt that's in it now to replace it nice and straightforward make sure you've got it the correct way up pop it in there like so and you just push it back in until it clicks into place and that's it you can see now that the movement's nice and free right so on this one here hopefully it's all evaporated off by now I can still just see a slight residue just down the bottom there so what you can do is you can just get a dry q-tip and just get rid of the last little bits of rubbing alcohol and then you get your key and you just lay it on there and just push it back in again like so and it pops back in again so really straightforward to do so if you're having problems with your keyboard 
just take a few minutes out to clean the keys and then hopefully you'll get a bit more use out of it. Well, I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out. Take care. Bye now.